What's up, YouTube? Need a podcast 156. It is a Wednesday. Tuesday went by. Now it's Wednesday. That's how it works, boys. That's how it works. Check in in the chat. What's up with the boys? We got we got some Madden tournament to talk about. I honestly don't know when the Madden tournament is going down. When does it happen? I don't know. Is it this weekend? That'd be pretty cool. Because Christmas is coming, so I'm assuming January 13th. Okay. Never mind. We're not talking about this shit today. Good luck. No Madden talk tonight. So I feel like Bot Wars should be. So I check my Google calendar. The 7th and 8th of January. Bot Wars should be the 7th and 8th of January. Who says no? Who says no to the 7th and 8th of January? My man Luke, 18 months. Dang, 10 months. Luke got 18. Viral gaming with nine. Slightly chubbed up with a tier one. He did that four hours ago. I wasn't here, but shout out to Slightly Chubbed Up. Subbed uh, four hours ago. No, Live Bot Wars is not in January. No. Sammy Bammy, what's up, Sammy? Mutt DV, are you being real weird? Or like real weird? Like honestly, I want to add more people to the to the unban request in an hour here. You're being real weird. Check the weirdness at the door. Swaggy Jabril. What's up, Swaggy Jabril? About to take some gamer subs, boys. You guys can put in the chat. Look at that. Pina Colada. Pino Colada. All right, rate pina colada as a flavor 1 to 10, boys. What is it? 1 to 10, pino colado. I'm feeling like pino colada is like, a, it's pretty valid. Pina Colada is ass. <laughs> no, I'm going to bed at one today. Ring will watch the YouTube video. See, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. He checked in. Did you guys check in? We're all right. We're out of here. Steve-O is leaving at n noon. Exams. Steve-O has exams in the morning. Shout out to Steve-O's exams. Ward is awake at 9.40. Wow, Ward. Shout out to Ward, man. You, you settling in? You going to sleep? Right now, I sleep at about three-hour intervals at a time. That's what I do now. Fucking goals. Here go war sleep is sort of yo war been sleep all week. 
Dry. Okay, guess who you hitting a dry scoop? Yeah, I really don't. I don't know. I, I. I would sleep more, but I don't really have the the time block to really sleep a lot. Unless I went to bed at you know 10 p.m. You know, Wasalu, three months. Let's get it, boys. All right, how's Madden treating you guys? Are we guys grinding the Madden? Who's in here is grinding the Madden? Do I got any Madden grinders in here? <clears throat> we should talk about presents and all that zero chill and all that stuff, huh, boys? That's that's what get the that's what gets the the crowd going. Level thirteen. I'm level eleven. Is anybody higher than level thirteen in the chat? And what are you doing to get that high in levels, boys? Like, what's the move to get that high in levels? Nah, D, so I'm not going to do LCQ. Stop asking stupid fucking questions. No, nah, I'm going to go. I'm going to, you know, go to Puerto Rico for that week. Jerry Judy, 99 speed. Congratulations, Reem. You're going to be so amazing with that 99 speed, Jerry Judy. People are going to fear you. You're going to strike fear into your opponent's heart once you get that 99 speed, Jerry Judy. Tell, actually, Reem, tell us more about your Broncos theme team. Tell us more. Who do you got? Who do you got at linebacker over there at the Broncos theme team? We want to know more. Tell us more about your Broncos theme team. No, I'm waiting. I want to hear more. Tim Patrick. Okay, he's 99 speed. What else? What DBs do you, you got? Certain. Who's your other DBs? Delta O'Neal. Ty Law. Is he a Bronco? He's not a Bronco, is he? Broncos theme team is good. John Lynch has 98 speed. Oh, K-Max running Broncos. For real? How about you whistle on his pickle then? If he's running Broncos. Good for him. Tell me more news. Fuck. Chat, dude. You guys are like... Yo, definitely sell your limiteds, dude. Definitely sell your limiteds right now. Wednesday's in there. Am I going to play? Yeah, playing right now, dude. Marcus, what's up? Marcus with 41 months. Where do these guys come from, dude? JPP, yeah, definitely. De definitely not. No card is worth money. Let me tell you that, boys. You ever go to a store? You ever go to a store? And you got to know the price of everything before you buy it. Then you, That's really not worth it. For real, right? It's really not worth it. If you're ever on the fence, is something worth it? It's not worth it then. That's all. All right? Because you thinking in your mind, I'm kind of broke, but this might, I might want to get this. That's what you're thinking how your mind works, right? You're kind of broke, and you don't want to spend that much on something because you don't know if it's worth it. And I'll be the first to tell you, if you're kind of broke, it's not worth it. Especially a virtual football card. Not worth it.
And that's a problem, wet. That's what I mean. Somehow we gotta know that the bundle is not worth it. I will be I will be honest with you guys right now. How about we play some music? Okay. Today, I'm telling you, bro. Remember I say I only sleep like three hours. Today's about to be an hour. I sleep ten. The way y'all about to make me get off the stream. Hit five bow re-rolls in 40k training, losing my ass for speed strats. Good comms, danger, good comms. Good good way to contribute. Danger show 83. Taco Dell. What's up, Taco Dell? Jesse Bates is so trash. Good comms from Jesse Bates. Okay. What else do we got from the chat? Jesse Bates is trash. Somebody got some bow rerolls. What else we got, boys? Is the game worth buying? No. No. I'll be honest with you guys as far as Madden. If you're not a sicko, nah, don't buy Madden. If you're not a sicko, chat, who's a Madden sicko? I'm a Madden sicko. There's Madden sickos, and that's what makes Madden thrive is the Madden sickos. People like you, old Trev, that haven't got Madden yet, you're not a Madden sicko, old Trev. You're probably, you probably have tons of other hobbies. You probably like art. You probably read books. You probably go on walks and shit. You probably like see the outside. You probably have tons of friends, old Trev. Old Trev. What like what are your hobbies? And I'll tell you right now, Madden. If you're not a sicko, Madden is just gonna be. It's gonna not worth it, buddy. You know what I'm saying? So no. Yeah, we're idiots. Yeah, like why every stream you got a bald head? Imagine having a dog. You be playing MLB, you probably, old Trev, you probably be having fun playing MLB, maybe probably get a couple games, and then you go do something productive. You might wash the dishes, you might take the tray, you might mow the lawn. You might reorganize, reorganize the garage or something. You might be a productive member of society. Us, Madden people, no. I have no hair, my beard is gray, I'm stressed out every day. Like a dog, a dog's an L. Let me tell you why a dog is an L. Cats are L2. A dog is a super dub. I, let me tell you, the dog is the best. Now, dogs are so different because there's so many different kinds of dogs, but they're all kind of similar, right? Cats, they're all the same shit. Cats are, cats are, cats are boring. They're really boring for real, for real. Cats are boring as hell, but they're, they're they take care of themselves, so they're cool, right? Like, they're chill. Cats are chill, but dogs, they're, they're so different, but they're so similar. They're all happy most of the time. The problem with a dog is it gets you by the nuts like a real, it's like a real, it's like the closest thing to the hu a human because it's like, yeah, like dogs, like, and you get so attached. And like, then you can see nowhere past it. Like your attachment to the dog takes over all your like, Common sense for real, for real. For real, for real. Dogs are high maintenance, but that's why I said this is close to a baby. Now, if I had a dog, yeah, I don't really want pets. Now, I want to have a, these kids or the kid. I don't have a second. Don't don't start. Not yet. Hopefully soon, but not yet. So I have my son, and he's he love. Oh my god. He loves animals. Like, when he sees a dog, he goes crazy. So, um, he's probably going to want a dog at some point. Now, I don't want to do it. If I had a dog, I would want a big house, and the dog would just stay outside. But even that, in theory, is good. But then you're going you're gonna to fall too in love with the dog. Come in the house, Rover. It's cold out. Come sit in the bed. Come, you know what I'm saying? All extra shit. Cause you just you just have such this attachment with the dog, that it's hard to have like limits. You know what I'm saying like rules on that. 
Yeah. It's hard to really like, but I'm saying I no, I would want like if I had like a big ass lot where he could just run around for real, for real. Rover's an L name, but I no one of his little toys has the name Rover on it. Like the the doghouse in the book says Rover. That's why I thought about that. Yeah. Yeah, we got Ed cleaning people's feet and shit. Like that's what I mean. Like you, I'm telling you, your yo. Your attachment to the dog becomes bigger than like your your like any yo. It's it's crazy. No, I don't want a dog. I really don't want a dog. I really don't, cause I know that attachment. And I'm be dogs stink. I don't want to hear shit about how you keep your dog clean. Nah, your dog stinks. All right, can we just agree on that? No, nah, here we go. Not mine. And the bigger the dog, the more the shit stinks. Period. They stink. They do. And that's cool. They're animals. The little dogs, it's harder. They don't stink as much. But a big dog, cause. Take your dog. To the, here go Rico. Yeah, if you take your dog to the groomer once a week. Dogs stink, dude. They shit. They fucking. They're just, they're just dirty, dirty ass. They're animals. And that's fine. Y'all can't be. You know what I'm saying? And the problem is. Like. You become so oblivious because you love the dog. How much they stink, Washington. I'm telling you, dog. I don't want to hear nobody say dogs don't stink. Cause you full of shit. I'm telling. Period. You full of shit. It's impossible. That dog smell. I'm talking like big dogs. I'm talking like 80 pound, 100 pound dogs. You know what I'm saying? My man Kyle in the building with nine months. My man Marquette low key going crazy. The OG in here for 23 months. Thank you, Taco. You know what I'm saying? And like, bro, that smell. I remember, yo, like, it takes over the house. And you become oblivious to it. Like, your own stink, whether it's your house, your crib, your BO. Yeah, you get used to it. But people that come to fuck, they don't care. That's what I'm saying. Nose blind. Because y'all don't, y'all get used to it. Y'all used to that stink. But everybody else, bro, you, you know exactly when you walk into somebody's house that has dogs. You know exactly. It happens instantly. Big and ugly. 13 months. Let's go. If they shit, that's what I'm saying. And then, and then, like, but because the dog is awesome, right? It's no, it's not my man, Mikey, with 20 yifties. Let's get it, man. Big and ugly, Marquette going crazy, Mutt Mikey going crazy, checking in on a Wednesday, talking about dogs and pets in general. But yeah, so we'll see. If I if I have a I don't want I don't want. Like so, that's why I mean a dog is an L. It's it's like, I, it's not it, it, that sounds bad. The dog is the dog is a super dub, but like everything that comes with the dog to me is an L. Like the baggage that comes with the dog between the smell, the work, the priorities, that shit is a super L. The problem is when you get the dog, your attachment and your feelings and your love for the dog just makes you blind to all that other shit. For real, for real. Geronimo checked in on the YouTube. So, for me, I think the biggest thing is knowing that and being cool. But I had a girl I lived with in like when I was like 23, 24. And we lived in uh, my house growing up. Like, my parents moved out. Uh, well, you know, my parents split up in sixth grade. And then my mom was, we were living in a house. It was just a row home, two bedroom house or three bedroom house. This was in Philly. And so, I, so then once they moved out, I, the girl moved in with me in this house. And I was, she was, I want a dog, I want a dog. But she was like fake bougie. 
where she wanted a dog like Paris Hilton dog. She wanted to put it in her purse and like a little. So she, so I always told her no no no. Yeah, who who this chick thinks she is? Trust me, the words I want to call her is like, trust me. But so I say no no no, right? So one day she just says, "Fuck you, Christopher. I'm bringing home a dog," and she said. Go downstairs. Look what I got for you. It's a present. I go downstairs. It's this little chihuahua. And it's sitting on a pillow. And it's like scared as hell. Like black and white. And it's, it's like shaking on the pillow. I'm like, I was pissed. Because I knew. I'm not stupid. I understood what was in front of me. I understood what I was going to have to do. Right? So I was pissed. I was like, go take it back. Go pick it. She said, no, I'm going to keep it. So the, the the chihuahua we start was like, you know, small. So she, I'm going to take care of it. But, you know, I'm going to have to do this shit because she, she's an airhead. This chick I dated was an airhead. She was like, like when you're young, you just want the bad bitches. You will sacrifice everything to have the bad bitch. That's how it works. I don't know if y'all at that point in your life, but when you like, High school to like, tw- like, I swear to God, you want this. The uh, I want the and, and she was cold, cold, like, yeah, all that, right? But airhead, like, as smart as a taco, I swear to God, she was just like, bro. And I look at my life, and I say, thank you, Lord, for having me not stuck with that, right? So, anyway, so the dog, yeah, so the dog. I was pissed. So she puts the dog in her purse. We go to the mall, King of Prussia Mall. The dog throws up in the little purse she got for the dog. The dog, first of all, don't know. A dog is an animal. It don't want to be in a purse. It want to be out in the in the wilderness. So she was like, I don't want to deal with this dog anymore. So long story short, about two weeks after she got the dog, she like, I'm over it. Meanwhile, I'm taking the dog's name was Dolly. I'm taking care of the little girl. I'm carrying her. I'm cleaning the dog's shit. And but then I tell you about my cemetery or my my field that was across the street from the joint. I would take the dog out there, running around and my and, you know what I'm saying, running around in circles with the dog and everything. I would I would walk the hell out of the dog. I would carry the dog. I remember carrying the dog to GameStop like this in my arm, like a little dog. And 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 before you know it, it had a little it had a little pink leash. And before you know it. I became the sucker. It didn't take long. It probably took a month. I'm like, this dog is all that. I love this dog. This dog is so happy to see me. We have such a connection. We're having all the fun in the world. I love the dog. I started buying like dog beds, taking pictures with the dog and shit. I, yo, we, we were really squad, right? So then... We were about to move out. We're about to get this apartment. And we picked this apartment because they let dogs in the apartment. I wasn't getting rid of my dolly. It's my squad. Right? So we picked this particular apartment because it didn't it allowed dogs. So I was excited, like, yes. So we get into the apartment. Bang. Brand new. We put they put new carpets down, new appliances, everything. One bedroom, nothing crazy. You know, where I had the couch behind the stream. So I got in there. So not not a lot of apartments allowed dogs. I was doing fist pumps because I found one that allowed dogs. I'm like, yes, let's go. So I come home one day. She gave away Dolly to somebody else. She said, I don't want Dolly in here in our new apartment. She's going to make it messy and stuff. I'm never going through that again. I'm never going, I'm never going through, oh, trust me, that was the downfall. That was the downfall, boys, and I will never go through that again. It's never happening. Exactly, exactly, boys. Uh, the roller coaster of the dog emotions. So for me, I, it was not that I was hurt, I understood it. I've been through, like, what you guys have with the dogs and why you guys, I understand that, that connection. That's why I can never hate on a dog. You know what I'm saying? So for me, she was an L. She was an L. Is that proof? That's what I'm saying. I don't want that attachment to anything that's 
I don't want to say temporary, but could hurt me that much, right? I'm trying to limit my hurt options, right? Now you got like you got a lot of hurt options, and you know you and I'm saying I'm trying to limit those. No, for real, it's like. No, nah, it wasn't like that, but that was like the. She was an airhead, though. She was an airhead. Yo, like, like smartness or brains is like, yo, that's like, brains is like the most important quality. And I swear to God, in a woman, cause like how smart they are dictates how they handle themselves in a lot of situations, man. Stupid people are like tough to be around in every aspect. For real, for real. Yeah, like, like, stupid people mess up everything. For real. Stupid people make everything hard. And imagine, like, when you, when you're in a relationship, like, that's like, you're with that person all the time. So you want to be out here with a stupid person? Come on, man. Word, I didn't say that. Honestly, honestly, me and Henny had a meeting. Ed, Ed, the one, he the one on, on a thin leash right now, Ward. I'm just like, don't let him cap at you. Me and Henny had a meeting. We might pick Ward back up. No, but so that's how I feel about dogs. Like, I understand, but I don't want to go through that again. So I want to chill, you know. This JC Jackson word thing. Buck Nasty, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say something about you, Buck Nasty. Your questions and comments have been so damn body the last couple weeks that I thought you were trolling. For real. Buck nasty, you have been so goddamn body that I thought you were trolling. But now I'm. Uh, the more you ask questions, the more I realize you. Yeah, Buck nasty, you gotta figure it out, dude. If you don't believe in yourself, why would anybody else? You know what happens? People clown me because I like my own pictures on Instagram. And I like my own YouTube videos. And I like my own TikToks. And I like everything. I, li I might even like my own tweets. I do. You know why? And people say, why do you like your own shit? I say, because if you don't love yourself, how can you expect someone else to love you? That's how I feel. Like Geronimo, that guy, he definitely likes his own Instagram. Oh, wait, he don't make his own Instagram accounts because he's not real. Oh, damn. Uh, it should probably wasn't too long. We probably, once we moved to the apartment, we probably, it was probably only like six months or something. Bro, let me tell you something. When somebody don't work, that shit is the worst thing in a, in a relationship. When you're in a relationship and somebody doesn't work, you, and this is when I was cutting trees. We were like 22, 23 years old, right? No, but she was like, it was like, you know, one of them, like women, like one of them airhead, you know, don't got an education. Oh, I'm getting this job. I got this job. I'm waiting on this, this type of shit. Oh, trust me. It was all bad. No, exactly. That, nothing. So when you cut the trees and your hands all dirty and you sweat, you come home and then she like be on Instagram all day before like before Instagram was like super like I guess it was still popping but you know what I mean I don't know what she what like what the process was like I don't remember what the hell it was but it was all bad 
Uh, but I was like, you know, it was like 21, 22, 21. No. No. Channel money. I mean, it's just, yeah, it's like, I, like, of course, it's learning experience. Wick, no, her mom would get Wick because her mom had three kids and her younger kids, and then it would sell the Wick. I didn't know about Wick because I think we were like, I, the worst place in America, seriously, to be is like, you know, you make enough money to not be on Wick, but not a lot of money. You know what I'm saying, boys? I didn't know about Wick until I dated her, right? And um, so we were going through the supermarket. This is probably like we were living together on our own, right? We were probably like 19, 20, right? And her mom put in hell of shit in her car. Now, I know her mom don't have no goddamn money because I've, like, I've been around them. I'm like, okay. She had three gallons of milk. I'm like, what the fuck? I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know. So she's just piling this shit. Then I'm thinking to myself, like, okay. What may see, I didn't realize this shit was like free 99 until <laughs> no. <laughs> until like after we checked out, I think, or something, right? Then I'm looking like, hold up. Give us some of that shit, right? Like, right? You got a, you got, uh, when she had a cart, when she had like a tank, it was like an army tank. Ain't no way y'all eating this. Then she was big. That'd be the worst part. No, the gallon set me off. Cause like, you can have a big, cause yo, you could have a lot in your shopping cart, right? But to have three gallons of milk, that's a lot. Right, boys? Three gallons. You got to have a family. Because milk, milk, m the max milk is like, what, three weeks or two weeks? M max milk, right? Two weeks? Max. So, like, because. It, but it wasn't no crazy-ass big family. That's why I was. It was like three people. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> that's what I was like. Hold up. Then what's crazy is she was trying to hustle us for these wick points or these food stamps. She was like, 100 for 150. I'm like, what the fuck? This is your daughter. Like, bro, like, I can't lie. That whole experience with her and that family, bro, that shit changed my life. It changed, like, my outlook on life, bro. Bro, tally. Cuz. Yeah, that's Gronkowski's. Fifty cents on a dollar. <laughs> yeah, so it definitely changed how I like. I really was like, damn. And this is when I'm like, cause I always watch my dad cut down trees and climb trees and shit. So and he did it all day, and then that's what I wound up doing. So I was like, I worked all day. So you got three gallons of milk. I'm over here counting my <laughs> counting my pennies. Can I hold something? She had like crab legs and shit. I can't lie, my one homie, probably one of my best friends, his parents was his parents was cool. Like really cool. Like I always was in a uh, I always was like tight with his parents and stuff. It's like you can tell a lot about people like when you see their family. Like you you can judge people off of their family. Like that apple doesn't fall far from the tree shit. And that it's that's that's true. I, I kinda like for the most part, I kinda live by that for real. Or, or like I my closest friends, I, I can look at their family and be like, yeah, I was like, they got good people for real, for real. Nah, for like family, for real, for real. Not even like friends, like birds of a feather, like you, you can have friends as assholes and you be a good guy for real for real. But when you meet somebody's parents and you like, okay, now I understand why you're good people for real for real. Nah, I don't I don't think so. Yeah. 
just the way they honestly I, it's just the way they treat people or like you know but anyway but he would go he would go my, my man's pop would go to the store and get crab legs now i don't think there was like a wicked thing or anything because they both worked and shit but he would go grab crab legs get them steamed at the store right and his philosophy i liked his philosophy because if you get crab legs, like, you know, a couple pounds of crab legs, you get them steamed to the store. You in for the, you into the store for $100, right? But while he was getting these crab legs, though, now, he would steal all the other shit, the cans of the, the crab meat, all the little, the old bay, everything. And it would be wintertime, so he would have the big jacket on. Bro, his pockets would have hella shit in it. And he was like, I, w- I already gave him $100. Hey, supermarkets really don't... Yo, supermarkets really got to have the worst security ever. And nobody's going to look at you when you're spending $120 on some crab legs, right? This dude not stealing shit. He spent $100. Yeah. But anyway, enough of story time. Let's talk about Madden. Time for the time for you guys to go somewhere else. This is when the chat dies. Yay, Madden. Okay, I'm gonna rapid fire the people that the eight people that made the wild card thing. No, I don't steal shit. My philosophy was stealing, right? I'm too afraid to get caught. Like, how embarrassing would it be to get caught stealing food from the supermarket? For real, like, you look on, and yo, I'm like, I'm like 40 years old now. I'm like, when I'm still in, now, when we were kids, I'd been told y'all about 7 Eleven. We used to run Ram Shot on 7 Eleven. I'm, yo, I, I still probably owe 7 Eleven a couple hundred dollars, to be honest. But I'm talking about like now is like a, a man like, whoa, she goes crazy on the self checkout. She has no like. I don't go crazy on the self checkout. Like she just be skipping shit. I'm like, whoa, like. Yeah, I feel like once you once you like have a job and a life. McCorkle, who puts food from parties in their pocket? Who like that's like what food is, is what food is acceptable to be in a pocket? I would probably put chicken fingers in my pocket and eat out of my pocket. You know, I, I would eat a chicken finger out the pocket. What else? Fries, nah, that's a little too much. What do y'all think? Pizza? Oh, you drawing. Like, why wouldn't you eat? No, I'm saying, why wouldn't you eat out of your pocket, though? Like, seriously, what's wrong with eating out of... No, tater tots is too small. Like, I feel like, what's wrong with eating out of the pocket? Like, it's nothing nasty in the pocket. Tenders could go. I wouldn't... I've never done this. No, you know what I used to do is put sunflower seeds in one of my jacket pockets when I worked. Sometimes I would do that. I don't know. Somebody... I, I, there's no situation when I eat out of my pocket. None. But somebody mentioned it. But... All right, I'll take popcorn out the trash. No, that's drawling. Popcorn out of the trash is drawling. Somebody had their hands and their lips and everything all in that shit. You know how nasty popcorn is for real. You gotta only share popcorn with somebody. You you gotta you got if you not like kissing somebody that you cannot share popcorn with them for real. No, you can't share the bucket. You can't share nothing. You can't share popcorn with another dude. That's a violation. I feel like sharing popcorn with a dude is a violation. I can't even think of like... I don't know, boys. Would y'all share popcorn with a dude? 
Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'm going too far. I think the movie's a little bit different. Like, the movie... Mo, first of all, I've never really... I've gone to the movies with my homies, but I never got popcorn and shared it. For real. Talk to me, though. Like... Yeah, but do you reach it? Do y'all know how popcorn is, dude? Popcorn, you get a handful and you put it in. Like, there's no way to eat pop unless you're like unless you're Mary Poppins and you're eating your popcorn one. How do y'all eat popcorn? Like, how how, how do y'all eat popcorn? I eat popcorn. You get a scoop. You get a uh, you get a grapple like the claw, right? And you just oh, you just eat that shit, right? How else do you eat popcorn? Are y'all one person at a time? Like, come on, dude. You get a grapple. The claw. Don't you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. So your so your finger touches your mouth. It happens, dude. Like, yeah, like, like you're going to get a hella lip and shit on your finger, and your finger go right back in there. That's what I'm saying. That's what I mean. And there's nothing wrong with that. See, that's one thing I realized about people, G. When it comes to smoking weed, y'all don't give a fuck. Same dudes will 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 smoke a blunt and then not drink out of somebody's water. Do y'all y'all is people like that? Oh, I won't. Oh no, I'm not. No waterfall, waterfall. But they'll smoke the blunt in a second, with no hesitation. about it burned the germs off it the, the the fire burned the germs why somebody say that watch water has backwash you're right the blunt has no backwash i never understood the backwash thing i never understood that i never believed in backwash what do y'all how do y'all be drinking like and then y'all let it fall, go back in the cup like i don't understand the drink like how does that like Like I pour the I pour the water in my mouth. I don't know. You never put popcorn on a napkin. Fuck no. <laughs> Who does that? <laughs> Napkins? Dude. If you put popcorn on a napkin, stay home. Stay home, dude. Stay home, dude. I mean, I can see you pour something in the box. Yeah, Ed, like if you get the nachos, you'll pour some of them, you know I'm saying? Because I'll be honest, this is some fat shit. But the cheese from the nachos, if you dip the popcorn in the cheese from the nachos, I'm just saying, that's a delicacy. Nacho cheese with the popcorn, delicacy. So I could dump some in my box. So now my box has both nachos and popcorn, and it's a little combo mixture, like Chex Mix, but movie mix, fire. Don't let it be don't let it be some some pretzels in there too. Don't eat the cheese. See, it's people like that. I don't give a shit how bad the cheese is. I don't care. Don't tell me. I done ate the cheese my whole life. I'm not gonna stop now. I'm 34 years old. And I don't wanna know. Ignorance is bliss. I don't care about the cheese at the movie theater. I'm going to eat that shit. I don't care if it's made out of goddamn plastic. Oh, my God, legend. Qualifying for LCQ and winning it has to be the toughest accomplishment. No. The toughest accomplishment is being a good man. You know what I'm saying? Having having good qualities and and, and staying true no matter what. This Madden shit is not real. You know what I'm saying? MMG or Keemstar. My man Papa Megs, bro, is a legend. Imagine comparing him to Keemstar. Keemstar is a crab. Stop. 
Skimbo, I'm going to be honest. This is where you fucked up, and I watched last night. You really shouted out Matty Ice in the middle of a tournament YouTube video. He changed since that. Bro, he changed. I think we need to retract that somehow. Now he asking for phone numbers. He going crazy. He really, Matty Ice from the chat. You got to see his new Twitter bio. What's up? It's Matty Ice from the chat. I swear to God. Yeah. I didn't create. I didn't create none of these guys. I played Rag song about Skimbo. I'm writing a verse to the remix right now. I didn't create Niner. Niner has Niner has not changed. He's been the same asshole. Y'all just ain't know him. Niner has been the same idiot forever, bro. Niner did not get more of an idiot. Y'all just paid attention to him more. Anyway, the eight people that are in the Madden wild card. Xbox, I know easily. Drinny and Ice. Cool guys. Great personalities. Kerry is back again. Kerry, I'll be honest. This is probably Kerry's. This is probably Kerry's best year, honestly. I mean, he's going crazy, honestly. And spamming of buttons. Now, you know what I've been. You know what I wanted to ask you guys. Everybody's been posting their Twitch recap. I have not seen spamming post his Twitch recap of what streams he's been watching the most. If you ask me now, I want to know some people's stream recaps in Madden, and I want and and spamming is on that list. I want to know what his recap is. Jay Bird, I'd love to see his recap. Who else? Vols probably got a nasty recap, dude. Actually, no, Vos don't have no nasty recap. Yeah, he just watched Madden. Vos gets, like, rocked up from fucking Madden. Vos ain't get to the point where he likes women yet. It's coming, though. It's going to hit him hard. It's going to hit... It's going to hit Vos hard. Yeah. Jaybird shit is nasty, bro. I, but spamming might have the worst one in the, in the whole community, bro. Niner don't watch Twitch women, bro. He don't. Niner. Niner been, yo, Niner been in the service, of, like, in China, bro. Do you know what shit is like over there and when you in the military? Because you know how many Minglings that Earl been swimming in in his life? Y'all don't, Earl was always a fat goober. Prime Earl? Come on, dude. Prime Earl was a savage. You've seen the pictures. <laughs> Hands down. I stand on business. <laughs> I'm telling you, Prime Earl, y'all seen the pictures? Prime Prime C Woo, Prime Earl. They different people. All right, so then PlayStation is Volterax. Who else made it on PlayStation? I don't know. I think Henry and Wesley, right? And I don't know the fourth person. Come on, Vo's answer. Noah? Noah made Oh, shit. Noah having a huge year. Okay, that's a crazy four. That's a crazy four. I like PlayStation. I might like PlayStation on this this matchup right now. Oh, we got Drenny. We got Drenny. Ice. Ice is, ice is like... 
Ice is like tough. And then we got Carrie and spamming. Spamming changed since he started liking this girl. Though. I'll be real. Like old spamming, he was worried about money games and grinding Madden. Once he met this girl, he done changed up. For real, for real. And it happens to everybody. Like when you first like get your dick played with, you change up a little bit. For real, for real. Fuentes, what's up, man? It happens. It's about and what I just tell you. I was out here working, going, getting wick and shit, and getting dogs and getting dogs taken away. It happens to everybody. You know what I'm saying? Happens there, but I stand on business. Geronimo, you're not real, dude. Perfect Goat. You're a legend, dude. Perfect Goat. You better be a boss by Wars Live. Why would I do Tinder strings? Why would I do that? What's the point of that? Which stocking stuffer would I suggest for a no money spent team? I'm be honest, stocking stuffers are the wackest cards ever. The only thing good about stocking stuffers is they got plus two chems. But, I mean, the whatchamacallit is the best is, uh, what's his name? CD Lamb. Pick three people to win, Vert? What type of nerd question? Pick, uh, it's not going to be Wesley. I'll be honest. Noah, Drinny are probably my two favorites. Noah, Drinny. I don't know. I don't know who the third is, really. Maybe Henry. I just feel like Henry always played bad. But, like I said, Noah and Drinny are like. Similar players for real, for real. Ice is, dude, ice is tough too, though. Ice is tough. Which one, it, which, Tally, which one would you say isn't a nerd in this group right now? Carrie? See, money. I have no idea what you're talking about, Duty. You know who does though? Scomo. Do you know Scomo? Team money. Check out his YouTube, and he streams in the AM. He got all your answers for stocking stuffers. Zach G. Am I running H2H? Yeah, I'm gonna run some H2H, buddy. Right now, we're talking about Madden and life. Zach G. Zach, where are you from, and how old are you? Can I guess? I got. I like like. New Hampshire area up there, New England, maybe Massachusetts, and I'd like you to be as seventeen. Zach. You know, I I don't I can't believe in Carrie, but part of me feels like you know what, maybe Carrie gets it done. I don't know, boys. Yeah. To my I, listen, I definitely made Scomo better this year, T Money. You agree? Like he's actually now I'll be honest. Every time I bring it up, Xerxes is the one that never replies. He ducks Skomo every time. Skomo is 100% ready to play Xerxes. Boss Bot Wars 5. Skomo's ready. No, Stretch is dead. Stretch is dead. Delay tight end is dead. I... I'm pulling for spamming buttons. 
I, it feels good that you know I'm saying, but you know, I don't really let my emotions get into Madden anymore. Rooting for people. If it ain't like Vilma or Skimbo or Bugs, I'll root hard. But emotionally, I can't can't get too carried away. You're right. He needs to be a sport champion. Cause what I heard is that John Beast is is, sli- is 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 sliding up on his girl. That's what I heard. There's a under like there's a battle in the streets between Beast named John and spamming buttons. For I'm saying I'm just saying. <laughs> Shouts, that's that's what's going on. I don't know if it's really and the biggest reason why John is having success is because he's an esport champion. But he's an esport champion, Ed, and he got the bag. Spamming, although he has chains and that Calvin Klein t shirt, <laughs> he not. <laughs> Spam don't got the belt. Bro, y'all gotta understand the belt is heavy. The belt, the belt weight, like the belt is, bro. That's like, that's like valid, bro. The belt. When you're an esports champion, that's valid. especially for girls that play esports. <sighs> Fat back, John. <laughs> Yo, one thing y'all gonna realize, being fat don't matter that much. The problem with being fat is you gotta be up on your hygiene way more than a skinny person. If you if you stay up on your hygiene, being fat isn't it's not a detriment for real for real, and you can't be you can't be too sloppy. No, it don't. I mean, John a little. He a, I mean, he a little like. He's stretching it a little bit, but I mean, he, he's stretching. He's stretching the theory, but you know. Stretching the shirts, damn. Well, my eye does. I go Matty Ice. Matty Ice. <sighs> All right, boys. So let's rank the favorites. Like I said, probably. I mean, we gotta go. No, is Noah a bigger favorite than Drenny right now? Noah's hot. I think he's got to be the number one favorite in the tournament. I think he has to be. <clears throat> but then I gotta put Drenny number two though. I gotta put the Drenny man number two. Then I mean, it, it might be Henry number three. I don't know. Volt is the clear cut number two. Volt is over Journey. John. Beast named John. I believe that Volt is tough. I don't I have never doubted Volt. But to say he's a bigger favorite than Journey is a little that's a little crazy. I don't like Wesley at all. Wesley can't get it done. If what Wesley can't get it done.
Joe Rice could. He was a different man, Joe Rice, dude. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened to Wesley. I really don't know what happened. Volts run against Journey in the club championship game was legendary. Good comms, SVC. Good comms. But anyway, Beast Name John, enough of this shit. I didn't know you were here. Can we talk more about how you took Spam as girl? The chat needs more comms on that. And, and you could be safe that she's not here. She doesn't know who I am. Yeah. Oh, ooh, Beast Name John. She came to my DMs. Uh oh, oh, shit. I told you. I told you. The Beast Name John. Is sliding. I mean, he might be rolling, grabbing a slide, but he's in there. I remember, but John, yo, she FaceTimed John. Yo, John, that was like 4 a.m. A chick FaceTime you at 4 a.m. Yeah, you special. That's all I'm saying. Meanwhile, spamming gifted 8,000 subs and is taking her. Spamming's taking her and her mom to an Eagles game. I said, Spamming, you taking her mom to an Eagles game? He said, yeah. He said, yo. I said, that's going to cost you $1,500, bro. I, yeah, I, I didn't know the mom was coming. I'm, I'm <laughs> bro, I don't be in there that often. Yo, Ed, I talk, yo, I go into Discord like, like once a week. It's Skimbo fault. Cause when I go in there, Skimbo just be gassing it. You know how he do when he do his dumb ass like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo, Skim be in there. You gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> and then Spam be like, all right, yeah, I'm ordering the tickets right now. Skim be like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> I swear to God. Like, y'all know his dumb ass voice when he be playing, but Spamming really don't know that he trolling all the way, and he be listening. Spamming said, oh yeah, I'm ordering the tickets. I'm ordering the tickets right now. And it got worse. Once she slid in John DM, it got worse, because Skip just started gassing him more. Like, ooh, you can't let that happen. Ooh, you can't. He like, you can't let that happen, player. <laughs> Oh yeah, we in the box seats. That that might have been a night he gifted when she wasn't even online. Do y'all remember? Yo, he gifted twenty subs and she wasn't online. I can't let that happen, player. <laughs> you can't let that happen, player. <laughs> it's bad, yo. It was, it's been all about, but I ain't really, I ain't really get comms on it in like two, three weeks. Yep. So I see, John. See. <laughs> It might be worse than dollar situation. It might be. I mean, he, bro, he's into this chick for like 10 racks. Dude, if I had 10 racks to give to a chick. It's not my fault, Tally. It's not my fault. It's not mine. Oh, yeah. If you met the moms, that's key. That's really key for real, for real. Best safety under 200K, uh, Derwin James. But let's be, but, but listen. <laughs> yo, the Uber, yo, the Jaybird Uber to Carlos house in Cali. That was nasty. Wow, Ed, you don't know about Jake Bird's Uber? All 
I wish I had 30k when I was like 19, 18, 19. I'm spending like we ain't spending like 16. Spend, we not violent. We just talking. It is my fault though. But it be happening. I don't be knowing about this shit, boys. I really don't. It surprised me. It surprised me. I I didn't know about this shit. Like I said, Skimbo know about it. He like, he was like, he might have been encouraging it. He might have been. I don't. I don't really know. But if I know, if I, he was probably encouraging it for real. For real. Should be some nasty shit be going down, boys. I'm. I don't know. What how what happens and when it happens, bro? I like. But anyway, it's all forgiven once spamming gets one of them. Listen, and this is what there it is for twenty nine months, and it, my man Ice. But this is this is what's crazy. Once you go in that hard, you can't stop. You can't pull out until you pull out. You feel me? You can't just stop chasing. Oh, yo, you can't take that big of an L. For real. You can't. That's too big of an L. I'll make sure y'all check out that. So we got, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know how the mom shit work. I don't know how that, I don't know how that happened, bro. I Now, I knew about the mom shit. I, I didn't, I really wasn't in, I, I kind of said no to the mom shit. And there's nothing wrong with, I guess 20 years old, that's a little old for the mom. But when I was like, when I was like 16, I would go out with girls like parents and shit. Like when I was like high school, like early high school, like go to the movies, they would like take us to the movies. We would sit somewhere else and shit like 15, 16 years old. But not 20. Yeah, but I'm saying, same shit, Ed, but you still, like, with them. You know what I mean? Meeting them, at least. You know what I'm saying? Go to dinner or something. Like, I, I, I really never cared. I was never uncomfortable around people. I've never really been uncomfortable around adults, women, anything like that. We're all moving on. The worst part is we still got to do rapid fire. What good can meeting the parents do? Ain't not, that's not wrong with that. I mean, take them to an Eagle game is crazy. That's like expensive for real, for real. But you know, nothing wrong with meeting. There's nothing wrong with meeting people, boys. Even if you suck at meeting people. Uh, Jared, what's up, man? We was just talking about you. We said you got a good. We said we ranked you as the fifth favorite in the tournament this weekend. Or. The fifth favorite. You was the fifth favorite. That's where he ranked you. It was Noah, Drenny, Henry, Vault, Spamming. That's your fifth. That was my that was my that was my my list. Bro, let my man do his thing, man. Oh, story time. Jesus Christ. Where the sickos go, bro? No, nah, bro. Y'all want to hear Jaybird? Is that what y'all want to do right now? Y'all want to hear Jaybird talk? Jaybird? My man Shaq with a tier two? Three months? I, I don't 
don't know if I see what you gotta understand is telling a story is an art. I don't know if Jay Bird is gonna be able to handle it. This is gonna be the most people that ever heard him talk. All right, somebody has to join. Somebody has to join one of the chats. We're not going to just air my man Jared out and not let him talk. Justin, we we haven't established you as a sub to the fucking channel, so don't tell me who the favorite is, okay? And take 10 minutes to think about whether or not you want to be in here or not, okay? My man Sheck with the tier two, and he throws uh, 500 bits. Let's go, Sheck. Yeah, we're not going to drag my man Jared, bro. That's what's not going to happen. I never aired him out. I just said it was crazy. But, you know, listen, the ends justify mean. Do we agree? I, Jaber, you have to join. You have to join the channel. But if he marries this chick, I mean, firm W. Whoa, chauffeur. What is this? Suck me off. Like what? 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 All right, here I come. Hold on. Make sure my headphones are on. Yo. What's up? What's up? All right, all right, all right, all right. All right so, all right, go ahead. Set the set the stage for the people. Oh. Brock? Like Brock Lesnar? Yo, you fucked the chick into becoming a man. That's the... Yo, you were the straw that broke the camel's back. You, you turned Brock to a man. That's crazy. She put a K on You put a K on her name. She ain't have a K before you. I mean, well, just think of it like this, Jay. But some people would think of it as a negative, but you saved a lot of other men from dealing with Brock. You know what I'm saying? And some would say that now... Brock has a cock. Yeah, there he is. I mean, listen. When you were with her, it was it had no okay. You know what I'm saying? She was a woman. Don't there's nothing wrong with that. What she did after you, you know what I'm saying? What she did after you don't got nothing to do with you. Yeah, who knows what happens. She might have had another she might you know, she might have somebody else between you and the surgery. Damn. So, all right, when you saw her, did you, like, hug her or dap her up? Like, what do you do when she's a man now? Do you, like, give her a pound or did you run away and hide? Oh, you ran away? Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm saying, like, so is it a uh, So you pound, you gave her a pound. You ain't, like. Okay. Did you snap your fingers after you dabbed her up or what? Okay, 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 okay. That's not bad, though. I mean, you know. I done heard of, like, turning women to lesbian. I done heard that. You went, like, 
over the moon with that's cool though. Oh, so she took the transformer to a whole new level, huh? She. Oh shit! So Brock does have a cock. I mean, if you're gonna change the voice, you might as well get a cock, right? Like I feel, I feel like I feel like the cock. Yeah, the cock comes before the voice. Yeah. No, well, I mean, listen. It's nothing wrong, man. Listen, it's all you learn from everything. You know, you really didn't do anything wrong, honestly. All right, buddy. Be safe. There it is. I mean, I. Is it a bad story? Is it like, what did he really do wrong? Maybe Jay Bird has a giant cock and she didn't want it anymore. You never know. It could be. Maybe she he hurt her. You know what I'm saying? Who knows? You never know. She forgot the hammer. <laughs> Who knows? But anyway, back to spamming. <laughs> He's the number five favorite. Going into the tournament. My man, and yo, Medize? NC Medize? I don't know about with the raid. Where the boys at? NC Made Zay. Okay. I mean, am I supposed to read that? Like, can I get some capitals in the name out here? Like, can I get some capital letters or some shit? Zay. Holy shit. It's not hard to do shit like this. Like this. It's not hard to do this. It's really not. It's really not hard to do that. It's really not fucking hard to do that. It's really not. He didn't have time. Dude's names be this. That be their name. And be like, yo, 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 you fucked it up. Damn. Damn, Brock with a cock. That's, I mean. My man shouts with the five gifted low key. Astro in here too. Astro with 13 most. I'm glad we could, I, I'm glad we could time out Justin. Bro, it's really not a crazy L. It's just, a, it's just a funny story. Like. I'll be honest, boys. I kind of want to see a picture of Brock. Jaybird, send a picture. You got to have a picture of you and Brock. If y'all had a hold that, you got to have a selfie of you and Brock. It's got to happen. Grammar band Brock. <laughs> I don't really need the before and after. I need like the... Kirk Cousins, Prime Gaming do Tier 1. Brock's new, yo. Show the peace. <laughs> I mean, that is crazy. Like, you ain't never get sus with the name Brock. Hey, hey, baby, what's your name? Brock. Like, you can't even make Brock, like, that's the craziest part. Like, what is Brock short for? Like, what's the, yeah, like, what's like, Broccolina, Broccoli, Brocklin, Brocklin. <laughs> Mm, Brock, you have nice boobs. <laughs> Bland Fusion, 15 months. I mean, this, I, this is...
And Jaybird's name is J. Patrick Partridge. Did y'all know that? His middle name is Patrick and his last name is Partridge. It's kind of, I, I don't, is his name a dub or a L? J. Patrick Partridge. You got Brock and you got J. Patrick Partridge. JPP, yeah. Brock and J. Oh, shit. Brock had the gripper. Brock Partridge. I can't lie. I kind of need a picture. I kind of need a picture. I, You know what's crazy about not having a picture? I think we're all like... This is what, you know, when you read a book and you like envision the people in the book, we all kind of have a vision of what Brock looks like. And I'll be honest, it's not a good vision. So the picture can only help our vision, to be honest, because I'm thinking the worst shit ever. <laughs> this is the dude. That, now. I'm thinking like one. She's she's already kind of trash. She's already kind of trash. Cause Jay Bird, like you know what I'm saying, he not casting over. And we're talking about 2016, Jay Bird. Like as much as we want to say it, Jay Bird then got a lot cooler in the last four years. So 2016, Jay Bird, cause. The shit, yo, in 2016. Whatever Jay Bird was raking in was not top tier. So I'm thinking like a, I'm thinking like a brownish hair, a bob type cut where it's like short around the neck. She kind of wear baggy jeans. She wear hoodies a lot, Brock. She wear hoodies a lot. She definitely a little. She definitely a little husky. There it is, just just in his back. So I'm thinking like, okay, real pale, like real pale. Like I'm talking like I ain't been out in the sun, pale. You know what I'm saying? He's thirty. She wear boots, like not like Timberland boots, but you know, like boots that look like you could do some shit in them joints, right? <laughs> So Brock, so steel toes, you know, she got a wallet chain. She seems like a wallet chain type, a little gothic, a little, maybe a gothic by wallet chain. Minimal makeup. Almost transitioning away from the makeup. Strong hands. Strong hands. Like 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 Brock only needs one trip from from the from the car to the house after the grocery shopping. Only one trip. She carries all the bags. Strong hands. Shoulders. <laughs> now how height. I'm probably one, not six foot, but you know, she like five, eight. Did Jay Bird get pegged? It's a question we're going to go to, we're going to go to our death bowl beds thinking that Jay Bird get pegged. She plays, she hoops. Now, I don't think she's in the sports. She's not a sports type. She's not a sports type. She don't play sports. She likes nature. No, she might like nature. Yeah, I, I can think that. 
power lifter. She fucks with. She changes tires. She loves crystals. Yo, yo, she loves crystals. Is nasty. <laughs> yo. I mean, I don't know if this is really an L, though, like. Front, honestly, we're kind of surprised that Jay Bird was taking something down. Right? It's kind of surprising. He was really, he was really sloshing some shit. You know what I'm saying? It might have been. She didn't test out a guy. All right, we pretty much did rapid fire. I don't have any rapid fire. Yeah. Oh, man. This is bad, boys. New limiters will be Christian Kirk. And who else is on my team? Christian Kirk and Waddle. Yeah, Ward. Brock is definitely in here tonight. <laughs> Yo, what if Brock played Madden? Yo, what if Brock played Madden? She got a mutt team. <laughs> oh Brock is definitely finna be Yo Brock is definitely gonna be a lurk name Oh my god Brock Brock with the hammer. <laughs> oh, shit. <sighs> Brock with the hamski. Brock's new cock. You can't put cock. Telling you, if somebody making it right now, Mundo's probably making it right now. Mundo's a little nasty ass. All right, boys, what we got on the unbannies? Nat, we, uh, bro. Five unbanned requests, bro. We gotta do more, boys. Shimmy.
I don't know what happened here, bro. W, I'm truly sorry for my actions. I've taken some time off since this whole incident to allow myself to think about what I've done. This is now how I want my time on earth to be remembered when I eventually pass away. I'll be better in the future. <laughs> I, what? No, what's like, oh, Jesus. Bro, I hate, I hate Jimmy, bro. Shout out to Brock with a cock with the sub and the follow. <sighs> Brock with the cock. There it is. <sighs> there it is. Maddie Ice, best is beware. The Matty Ice recap. No, nah, you're not getting my back ever. Nope. All right, man. If you want mod, post a selfie right now on Instagram. Look. Look. Post a selfie right now on Instagram, Matty Ice. You got to post a selfie on Instagram. I want you a selfie of you watching the chat and make your shit public too. Post a selfie. You'll have mod until you fuck up again, which I mean. Prove that. Listen. <laughs> to the next poll. <laughs> yeah. No, you got to take a selfie right now if you watch. I don't give a shit if you're in bed. I don't give a shit if you're on outer space. He's making excuses. Yeah, I'm done. I, I see, you can only give people opportunities. You can't, yo. I say, all you can do is give them opportunities. You can't make them, you know, go get shit. You know what I'm saying? You can just give people their opportunities, and if they take advantage of them or not, I'm just over it. Motherfucker always got, he always got excuses. Oh, I, I, I got my TikTok deleted. I can't be on there. Oh, I'm not on Twitter. I can't be there. Oh, I don't have any, like, come on, bro. No, nope, nope, nope. 
There it is. You don't get mod. That's it. How hard is it to take a selfie? Just sad. Just sad when you really think about it. When you think about the opportunities that have been given to the chat. Like we're giving these chat opportunities and look what look what they do with them. Nothing. Squadoosh. That's the end of the po needed podcast. If anybody likes to be a mod, you post a selfie on social media of you watching the chat. I'm saying doesn't take much taking advantage of opportunities is what life is about you know and it, and if and if 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 somebody like Matty H really cared about this he would do it instantly you know what I'm saying so that lets you know one he doesn't care or two he's not shit and he's never going to be shit because if it's something you care about and you're not taking advantage of it then you're not going to take advantage of life when you get a job opportunity when you get a job interview you're going to say I don't need to go tomorrow I'll go I'll get the next job and you're going to be an irrelevant piece of Canadian shit the rest of your life Matty Ice you know what I'm saying but if that's what you want to be that's cool you know what I'm saying like Steve-O already Steve-O already over y'all Absolutely not. Not I love Madden. Madden's where I'm at. Other games suck. This was the Need a Podcast episode 156. We're closing in on three straight, three years. Three years. We're closing in on three years, boys.